Okay, the uh, TT motors finally arrived. It's the 48 to 1 gear ratio. But they didn't send the ones with a single shaft, which is what I ordered. They sent ones with dual shaft. So we're just going to have to uh, remove one of the shafts. Like that. Okay, so I've got the uh, side frame piece here. And we're going to, well, I guess before we do that, let's talk about the cogs and stuff. The uh, front leg cog drive for the track, you have to assemble. So you take one of these pieces and you put a little bit of a little bit of the glue around there and then you take the cog and shove it in there all the way down. And then you do the same thing with the one that has the gear on it. Put a little bit on there. And shove it all the way down. And then we'll let that dry. Now I actually already have, this is a printed in uh, a chrome, aluminum, whatever you want to call it, type PLA. Here's the one that's printed in the same gray. It's already been glued. We'll use that for this assembly. But you do the same thing for the rear roller. We're going to make a roller like this for the back side. So I might as well glue these while we're gluing things. I'll just use them in the final one. You take this spacer. I did it this way so that the parts could all be printed without, well these parts anyway, could be printed without supports. Because a little bit of glue is a whole lot quicker than waiting for you know, supports to print. And of course that had to roll about a, as far away as it could go. Okay. Alright, so we'll let those dry. So on this piece here, I've already uh, put some uh, 1 inch 632 screw, started them here, and put in a 5 8 screw here, which I'm going to use as a shaft for this idler gear. And I thought maybe I'd grease that so that uh, it doesn't wear too quick. I mean, it's just a toy, but why not? Put a little bit of lube on there. So this it's going to go down the same time as this, that kind of go down together. Like that. Uh, let's say the gear motor, I'm going to run the wires out the bottom just because I've already got a slot there. I've already snipped that off. There should be a gear around here somewhere. Let me find that. Look at the gear that will fit on the motor, hopefully. Nice tight fit. And that's going to sit... Oh, we got to take the uh, mounting tab here off the end of the motor too. Gets in the way. That's going to fit in like that. And then I've got some uh, half inch screws, 632 again. Which are going to go in here. And they'll screw into the motor if I get things lined up right. And one in the bottom. that. Okay. I suppose we should test run it at this point. Got a little uh, battery pack here. And let's just connect up to these motor wires. All right. Perfect. We've got this uh, spindle that goes in the back. You've got this uh, track. Well, let's get these uh, motor wires out of the way. There are holes for them to pass through. This can be the 
inside of the track assembly like so. So now they're out of the way. You take the tracks and lay them over, get them down on the hubs, and pop it up like that. Very good. Then the other side piece goes on like that. And I'm going to snug these screws up for now until I know what kind of body or what I'm going to interface in between this track section and the other one. I don't really know about this upper thing. Um, the screw may very well need to come in from that side. But uh, just for the sake of wanting to test out the motors and the treads, we'll put these screws in now, knowing full well that uh, when it actually comes time to build, or at least before I glue the decorative side panels on, I'm going to have to make some decisions. But right now we just want to test things out. So, this will hold it together. And even though that motor doesn't need it to stay there, you can put screws in from this side as well. And I'd say, why not? It just it'll just help stiffen everything up and make this a little bit better. So let's go ahead and put them in. Remember, don't over torque your screws uh, in a PLL print, especially the ones that I printed in the uh, shiny metallic finishes like the silver. They seem to delaminate easier than normal uh, PLA and plus I only printed these at a 15% infill so they're fairly hollow and would be easy to uh, crush and split the print. Okay, there we have it. Um, I guess I can just hold these Yeah, let's try going the other way. That works, but I need longer uh, test leads so I don't have to hold so much. So let's connect these up. See if that makes things easier. About the right speed too. Although I think, let's see what it would look like on just uh, three batteries. Oh, that's not the right way. Where does that red wire go? It's down to there and then jumps over to here. So at four and a half volts, we're looking at that. And at six volts, looking at kind of like the six volt better, I think. So, there's our demo test of the uh, TT gear motor drive unit, one side of the Johnny 5 track, and um, I think it's working quite well. I really need to stop now and think about what kind of body I want to put on this project, and we can take it from there. Uh, in the next video, perhaps, we'll talk about the cosmetic side panels. Uh, can't go too far into that until I actually figure out the body, but that's where we're at right now.